Welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Joaquin Buckley versus Jordan Wright. So look at this one right here. So Joaquin Buckley is riding off a lot of steam right now with that highlight reel knockout that, you know, set the internet on fire. I mean, it's not the craziest knockout. Well, it is one of the craziest knockouts in MMA history, but it's definitely been one that went more viral than that one, but definitely a viral knockout and definitely hit the mainstream and it's out there. So he had a coming off big knockout win. So a lot of hype around him right now, even though he did get knocked out by Kevin Holland in his debut. That's no, nothing bad to say, but he's only one in one UFC. That's the kind of bad thing. Like you, you got a good win, but you're not really as sold as this trustworthy fighter. And I'm not saying all this to say that um, I'm picking against him because I'm actually picking him in this one, but this is a very tight matchup for him and Jordan, right? This is no easy fight. This will go either way. And they both have skills that can be issues to each other. Like, when I look at Joe King Buckley, he's a short, squatty, explosive fighter. And with that power, he can definitely touch, the, touch that, that soft chin of Jordan Wright, that soft, buttery, um, three musketeer soft chin of um, Jordan Wright. And look at Jordan Wright. He's long. He'll definitely, I think he was like 6'1", 6'2", maybe even 6'3", versus like the 5'9", Joe King Buckley. And he coming up came from light heavyweight to middleweight so he gonna have a little bit of size on him and a good reach over him and he knows how to use that limb and be dangerous with that and a guy like Joaquin Buckler would like to come in with his chin I mean his hands down and swing big shots he can definitely counter him walking the big shots and maybe even knock him out like by walking into a shot because when you walk in the shots they increase how hard they are how much power they are because weight coming into weight and it's all crashing right on that chin so that could be a case of what could happen but I'm going to lean to Joe King Buck. See him doing some wrestling, trying to, you know, round out skill set and be sharp in all these areas. So I feel like he's going to come in here and be smart and try, you know, ride that steam off and not just come out here and just go dumb and get caught. He's going to come out there, be a little bit more tactical, mind his defense, smart pressure, and try to crash and um, get inside and land those big shots on the soft chin of Jordan Wright. The same way he got knocked out on the contender series in his first contender series fight for um, Jordan Wright. I also think he's going to mix and take downs, you know, try to wear Jordan Wright, make him tire those legs out, tire his body out so he can't move as much, then try to crack him. I saw Nick's going to be a first-round knockout, but like a second-round knockout. The first round going to be more about beating his body up, getting him inside, landing shots over the top, take him down, all about wearing him down so he can't move as much. Then in that second round, then be the aggressive, I mean, be more aggressive and looking for that knockout. Now that your opponent's not as moving as much, not on his toes as much, and kind of in front of you more, then land those big shots and put him out. So in this fight, I have Joe King Buckley via second round TKO.